Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So let's see what the energy is like for you guys today or tonight. Whew, don't forget, flip the rose, take what you need, leave what you don't need, and please use the spirit of discernment, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. What is the message for Virgo? Woman holding a coin, y'all. It's been irritating because <laughs> it be like, who the hell is these people, right? It's like we be having this this period where, because I'm a Virgo too, y'all, right? But we be having this period where it be like love, be like yes, women. Then guess who comes and invades the reading? Carmisha or Carmichael? Okay, the karmics. All right, so the woman holding a coin reversed. The storm warning is in the reverse. There could be past, present, or future energies. Um, something's getting ready to blow over, okay? The strategy card in the reverse. No, it's not. Blow it. It could, though, right? It just depends on how you get through this cycle um, or this process. Again, this may be about somebody that's connected to you, all right? I could be picking up on your people's energy, all right, honey? But the woman holding the coin in the reverse is a lot like the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is somebody who um, could be very selfish um, in it for their own personal gain, very self-absorbed, um, and... Um, I feel like whatever is surrounding this person, or this could be somebody that was in your life previously before that's still affecting you today. This is why you haven't really been able to strategize, okay, or or see your plan um, go through, okay? So tell me about this woman holding a coin in the reverse. Yep, the magician in the reverse. This person could be doing some manipulation. They could be doing some black magic. Hegel Virgo, the hermit, right? You're wise though, Virgo. Come on now. Um, Page of Pentacles in the reverse. All right. I feel like you may have um, a knowing. You got a knowing about what's happening here with this situation because you go within. You go within. You check in, right? With your higher self and you understanding here, okay, um, I haven't been able to fully manifest the way that I want to manifest is because, again, it's, some, it's something that's affecting this manifestation. Also, usually the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, it could be um, some type of communication that may have came in. Um, not the best. Uh, it's not probably what... You know how it's like it's, it's something that you really don't want to hear? It's how I'm hearing Yeah, the nine of wands comes out. Okay. Could be about what somebody is, is going through. Maybe some type of um adversity or something. Okay, so hold on one second, y'all. All right, yeah. So it, it seems like like every time you try to get, you know, the these ideas off the ground, um, and be able to really refocus and try again and move forward. Uh, here we go, nine of wands. Here goes adversity, right? Here goes some type of attack or something coming to, to put an obstacle in your way. Okay, and let me turn this down just a little bit. So give yourself some space, and that's what Spirit has been trying to tell um, Virgos over the last couple of months. It's like this is the time to take a step back, take a time to regroup, take a, um, it's the time to re-energize, refocus, and things like that um, in order for you to be able to get back up and try again, right, to be resilient because there's some energies or some people that are literally against you, right, um, and they're trying to stop you from achieving these things. Tell me about the storm warning in the reverse. King of Cups in the reverse position, right? Here go a masculine energy coming through four swords yeah take a break like because all of um the turbulence that you may be experiencing it can throw you off balance emotionally so now is the time for you to just step back away from everything and just rest it's especially during this period where the storm has passed Okay, so right now you may not be having nothing going on. It might be a little easy breezy. You like, who's okay? I can breathe again, but make sure you are resting, recuperating, pouring back into yourself. You know those things like that, so that you can continue to move forward. You need to strategize this. You need to, you really need to have a plan 
for you to put this in the mix, okay? Tell me um, more about this strategy card reverse. Yeah, this is the period now where you could be getting some things into order. Yeah, temperance, while you're balanced. Five of four, five of um, swords comes out. While you're balanced. While you're in alignment, you feel me? Because you're going to always have adversity. That's just basically how I'm saying it with that five of swords. It's going to be always somebody competing. It's going to be always some type of conflict. Um, naysayers, okay? Disagreements, hostility, or however. But if you're balanced, none of this, none of this can affect you. If you're in alignment... Mm -mm. None of what they brewing up, 555 five, five on the timer, can affect you. So they may be in the midst of brewing up something else now. And so when that next storm hits again, you're balanced. You're already tempered. You're protected, but you also have to do your part, okay? Which means you got to be on the right frequency. So these attacks just bounce right off of you. So what's brewing? Queen of Wands and the Knight of Wands comes out right next to each other. It's because of who you are, man. It's like... It's like you're taking action. You're determined. Um, even when it comes down to your vision, you know what it is. You're, you're somebody that could be in the public eye. Um, um, somebody who gets a lot of recognition. Very beautiful energy. Like, you're getting your flowers. People recognize you. You got... And I always keep seeing this black cat. It's like... You got a cat or a black cat that's around you that is literally protecting you like that cat was sent. It could be a stray, okay? But you are protected. You slaying dragons right now. And the spirit realm is helping you. And these people are throwing darts, swords, evil eyes, spell work, whatever, your way, okay? Because they disagree with you or they just jealous because of your path to success and how you're doing things. They see you as a threat to their own happiness. Yep, three of cups in the reverse. You work alone. You ain't really, you know, connecting with these people. You're operating in your own independence. The devil, devil card in the reverse. You've taken your power back. Okay, you're not choosing to go out there and connect with these people. And they see you as a threat. Six of Wands. And look at that. You get in your flowers. The public recognizes you. Your family recognizes you. People see you. And you're getting your flowers now while you while you here walking this earth. You're succeeding. You're accomplishing a lot of things right now. Okay? So, look at that. Four of Wands. People are celebrating you, man. You're building this foundation for yourself. And, and what I heard is like what the enemy meant for evil, God uses it for your good, basically. I got to look that scripture up or something because that just came to my mind. And this is, this is why you're being told all the time. It's like, hey, Virgo, you need to take a step back and just rest and recuperate, especially when it's breezy. So that when something else comes up, boom, you're ready. You're not overwhelmed. You're not tired. You're not defenseless. Okay. Because of who you are and as the queen of wands. Yeah. You got not just, you know how you may be thinking that, oh, it might be this person that's doing that. No, it's, it's more than that. Okay. It's more than that. It's more people than that. Yep, the magician comes out, all right? You manifesting real heavy. You got the tools that you need, okay? You got everything that you need to counteract what's happening. And it all comes in with your alignment because you know in order to manifest, guess what? You got to be a vibrational match to the desire. So if you're keeping your frequency up high, it doesn't matter. Whoever's throwing whatever at you, you already know how to command the storm, right? The tower card comes out, but it's in the reverse. It's like you already know how to stop whatever it is that is trying to come at you to tear your house down you don't got to be sitting here in hangman position shift your perspective real quick think about this you know you already got the key okay you're not bound all right but hey remember who you are take your power back